Section 1.1, derivatives, we're going to do yet one more example. Now, f is defined for all x, okay? f, it has a particular uh, quality, that is, f a plus b happens to be equal to f a times f b, and that's true for all a b. f0 is defined as 1, and f is differentiable at x equal to 0, and that's all we know about it. What kind of function does that? Well, the, the exponential function comes to mind. But we don't care about that for now. The, what we're going to show, supposed to show, is that f is going to be differentiable for all x, and f prime of x equal to f prime at 0 times f itself at that value, whatever value it needs. So to prove this, we're going to consider the definition of f prime x. The f prime of x is defined as the limit of h approach 0, f x plus h, minus f of x divided by h. This is one of the form formulas for calculating f prime. And this is f prime if it exists. And we don't know if it exists yet, besides 0. Okay. And uh, why do we choose this formula, not the other kind? Because it has x plus h in here. We have a plus b here. And we want to use this thing somehow. So using it, we get this is equal to the limit h goes to 0 f x times f h minus f x and the whole thing divided by h. All right, and we will clean this up a little bit. Do algebra. One must always do algebra. Equal the limit. h goes to 0. We'll take f x y out. And we have f, then we have f h minus 1 divided by h. All right. Now, what is for what is um one? Remember, f zero equal to one, and we want to put f zero in here for a good reason. Okay, so let's put f zero in here. The limit as h f x f h minus f zero divided by h. Okay, as now what happens this? Now as h approach zero, this thing is equal to what? This is exactly f prime of zero. Okay, this equal to f prime zero as h approach zero. Because this is the exact definition of what what it is. So f prime of zero is uh does exist is given to us. F is differentiable at at uh, x equal to zero, which it means the whole thing is going to be equal to f as you let h go to zero. The whole thing is going to be f x f prime is zero. So that is the limit exists. And we know what it is. So that proves both equations right there. That um, f prime of x, as defined here, does exist, and it equals to this particular product as required.